When I started engineering, there wasn't this whole everyone has a million different sets of monitors thing going on that there is so much now. There wasn't really that much choice. So the one constant was the Yamaha and S10 that everybody had. And so that's what we all grew up on and, and got used to. I'm Francesco Camelli. I'm the uh, owner and chief engineer of Sphere Studios. And I'd say my primary role is to uh, to record, I'm a recording engineer. I first heard about Amphion from a friend called Phil English, who's uh, another engineer, and he was uh, helping me get this place up and running. And he sort of came round one day and he said, right, this Finnish chap came round and he brought me these monitors and they came in this beautiful little wooden box and, and they're really quite cool and you should listen to a set. And so he introduced me to ANSI and then he came round and, and brought me a, a few different pairs to listen to and, uh, and then eventually I settled on these. Mainly what I do is I'm a tracking engineer, right? So my, my job is to capture sound as transparently and as well as possible and, and have it relate as much as possible to what the artist is, is creating. And I find that with, with these, as with the NS10s, they, they have quite a forward sort of mid-range. So all of those nasty, shrieky frequencies that are in vocals or guitar sounds or, or just about in everything we record, both these and NS10s seem to make them more obvious makes it a lot easier for me to decide just how much of all of those frequencies I, I leave into a particular sound. And what I found with the Amphions was that there was a speaker that was pleasant to listen to and had more bottom end extension, but at the same time still revealed a lot of what I want to be hearing when I'm, when I'm tracking. But there's so much more than that. That's that's kind of it's it's weird because calling them a better NS10 is 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 almost a disservice to how good they actually are as speakers. Um, the only reason that they're a good comparison is because of their sort of forward mid-range. 